One of the most common shapes on the SAT is the rectangular solid, which is just a 3D shape with six sides, all of which are rectangles. Basically, we're talking about boxes here. In this lesson, we'll go over calculating the volume and the long diagonal of a rectangular solid. Now, the first thing we need to be able to do with rectangular solids is to find the volume. Volume is the measure of the space within the shape. The formula is volume equals length times width times height. Fortunately, the formula for volume is given in the formula box, but you still need to know how to use it. Let's go through a problem together. In the figure, the length of side AB is 12, the length of side FB is 6, and the distance from point D to point B is 13. What is the volume of the rectangular solid? We'll underline the facts and circle the key terms. We're looking for the volume of the solid, which we know as length times width times height. First off, we need to label everything we know. So label the length of AB 12. Now let's substitute 12 for the length in our volume formula. So we have volume equals 12 times width times height. We also know that side FB has a length of 6. Let's label that as the height. Now we can substitute height with 6 in the volume formula, giving us 12 times width times 6. Finally, we know the length from point D to point B is 13, which isn't a side, but we can label it by drawing a dotted line. Now we're just missing the width. If we take a look at just the base of the rectangular prism, we can see that it's just a rectangle. We know that the diagonal of the rectangle DB is 13 and that the length is 12. Because the diagonal of the rectangle, the width, and the length make up a right triangle, we can solve for the width of the rectangle using the Pythagorean theorem. Just in case you forgot, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that the square of db is equal to the square of ab plus the square of ad. Substituting in the information we already have, we get 13 squared is equal to 12 squared plus the square of ad. It's time to do a little calculating. 13 squared and 12 squared are both good to know. They appear on the test regularly, so memorizing them will help you save time. But if you need to do them by hand, that's okay. 13 squared is 169, and 12 squared is 144. So we get 169 is equal to 144 plus the square of AD. We can subtract 144 from both sides, which gives us 25 is equal to the square of AD. Taking the square root of 25, we get that 5 is equal to AD. Wow, that took a lot of steps and a lot of knowledge. But we're not done yet. We know that the width of the base is 5, but we're looking for the volume of the rectangular solid. Because the width of the base is the same as the width of the rectangular solid, we can say that the width of the rectangular solid is also 5. Substituting 5 in for the width in the volume equation, we have volume equals 12 times 5 times 6. If we multiply all that out, we get that the volume of our rectangular solid is 360 cubic units. Now you can fill in the grid with the correct answer. Now, while it's still fresh in your head, let's use the same rectangle to learn about finding the long diagonal. In this figure, the length of AB is 12, the length of AD is 5, and the length of FB is 6. What is the distance from point A to point G? And here are our answer choices. So we're being asked for the long diagonal, or space diagonal, of the rectangular solid shown here as the length between points A and G. Luckily, there's a quick and easy formula to find that information. The length of the long diagonal is equal to the square root of the sums of the squares of the sides. So in this case, our equation becomes L equals the square root of AB squared plus AD squared plus FB squared. Substituting our values for each side, we get that L equals the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared. That's the square root of 144 plus 25 plus 36. A little bit of adding, and we get L equals the square root of 205. Luckily, we don't need to plug that in to find the square root, because looking at the answer choices, D is the square root of 205. Go ahead and circle it, because it's the right answer, and get ready to take your place in the winner circle. Like most things on the SAT, working with rectangular solids might sound intimidating, but with some foundational knowledge and a lot of elbow grease when it comes to practice, there is nothing on this test you can't conquer.